Hi, welcome to the next lesson where we'll be trying to move our picture box as well as jump. Uh, on top of it, we'll try to create some intersections and some barriers where it can, which cannot go through it, but rather than going through it, it has to jump over it or jump onto it. And also we'll try to work on a little bit more in uh, uh, mid level of work rather than working just on the form because form we have something called 988 but that is the total size of the form not the game area okay because that's the reason we get confused because right now we think it's 636 units in height but 632 is from here to here so there are some units some pixels we are losing here and some pixels we are losing here. The same thing with when it's 998, something here, something here. Uh, but we want to get uh, some clear uh, game area. To work it out first, I'll check the form. Name it as game form. right sorry and also game i just want to change it to the game this is the title or the text now in toolbox we have something called panel drag it this is a panel we can use it as a game view or game area so right now this is a panel i'll got I'll call it as game area this is the area which we can play the game and if you see here it is 948 and 573 so what I'll do is that I'll try to round it down 950 and this one is 575 okay this is the area which I would like to use it for our game is it clear guys now on the toolbox i'll create get a picture box which will be my player so i'll just change it to 56 56 or let's take i'll put it 50 50 and i'll call this as player pb uh, once again i'll clearly highlight it that we need to give it sensible names when we are using a picture box we'll try to put pbs and when i'm using a timer i'll try to put timer and label with lbl and all the stuff okay and i'll just change the color for the time being i'm not going to use uh, any image i'll just change it to some color so i'll put some custom color something like this so this is the player now what i want to do is that this is what i want i just want it to move jump right got it should move and jump that is what we are going to do now before going on to the creating the coding and all the stuff there are a couple of things which we need to do if you go to toolbox there is something called timer okay timer and i'll change this as game timer got it and it should be true enable should be true and we'll let it so right now we got it so first thing to move it we, we are just moving in left and right we are not going upside we have to just move and jump move jump move jump or something else okay is it like this so we are not going upside we are not moving up we are jumping towards it. okay that is what we are going to do in this lesson so what we need to do is just to move in left and right side so that is key down when you press some key down it is going to move the sides so how to do it you should know clearly but i'll go through to it once again so come back here select the form go to the event system see if you select the panel and see there is no key so if you click here you by default you are selecting the panel because which is the panel is on top of the form so select the form like this click on this 
and here key down and key up now a little bit more mid level rather than going see, i don't want to double click here so it is giving something different thing i can just click here uh i can put game if i want key down just to show that you can put your name like this can you see game key down so same way i can go up key up game key up so we got the game key down game key up and uh, double click on the timer once again we got the game timer properly here if you check here it's game timer if you want to give some more name other than this name inside this thing you can just click on the event system and change the name but right now we can leave it double click it so we got all these three options got it so here i'll put bowl right and left i'm typing it at the same point because right now these are the two variables which are boolean values they are booleans can you see you can type it like this or else you can type once again bowl left and left got it it's up to you so i'll prefer like this okay so i got bool right and left but currently we don't know the values so we say that if in game key down i'll put if e d key code equals equals okay keys dot i want to press left key or right key i'll put right then here i put right equals true the same thing i'll just copy this one because we clearly know just subtle changes we need to do this one left and this one will be left okay now you could clearly see the difference this left is with a capital left and this link to the keys and this is our boolean variable now copy these two lines and key up this one i'll change it to false okay so right now we got those two variables now in the timer what i will do is that if right equals equals true if it's true now what i lose it press enter it will go to the next line i'll just keep it here only so i know mine is a player you can see okay player pb so i put here player pb okay dot and we have to use left plus equals y okay now i'll change it and when it is left it should be minus equals let's test it so if i run it it's going it's going but it's going very slow there are two options you can do you can change the value here so that it's moving with fast or you can go back to the timer can you see the interval interval is 100 i'll change it to 20 let's see how fast it can go click on save now it's a bit fast okay is it clear guys this we did all the things we already did it now once you do it next stage is that we need to create the jump to create a jump what do we need i hope oh, i ask you to wait pause it and think okay that's the best thing i'll recommend what you need to do what i'm saying is that what if i press 
what should happen okay if i press if i don't press what will happen and how will it will reflect in the timer so i'll give you a couple of seconds or else i can say you pause it and check it out okay i will also pause it so that hi guys sorry welcome back did you got some idea hope now how to do it first thing we'll create you should know we should create a boolean variable because do i need to jump or not am i moving right around like the same thing i'll put jump i won't give any value i'll just leave it and also i'll create some int variable called gravity and i will give the value as 50. what is gravity the way means how many units it need to shoot and fall and fall i don't know why i call it as gravity we can call anything okay but what i feel is that move up to 50 units and fall okay let's take if you want you can create a random value and then random gems also you can do it but the time being we'll leave it and also i'll create one more variable called int force okay you will clearly understand when we go through the next stage why we are created this variable rather than explaining you know i think i'll explain it in the code so first i'll go down to the key down in key down means if i if if jump okay jump is not equal to true means if i am not jumping then only it should jump but let's take if you want to create like a double jump and all the things then you can skip this line but in this game idea what i'm planning to try do is that when when you click on spacebar it is jumping it means it is jumping so this will be jump will not be false because it's jumping it's true means you when it's in the air if you try to click once again the space bar it won't affect the jump but let's take if you want to create a double jump and all the things you can do it out is it clear now if it's false then only you can jump so i'll put if e dot key code equals equals keys dot space here once again i'm trying to explain you guys so when i'm not jumping then only jump and if i'm not jumping and then if i press k space bar then only jump so i'll put jump equals true okay got it and what i'll do is i'll put force equals gravity <clears throat> means what i'm saying by default force there's no value but when we are not jumping and when we are pressing the space bar it has to jump and how it has to jump with the force of whatever the value we have given the gravity okay is it clear guys now the next thing now no key up code everything we can just come back to the timer this is where the all the action takes place here we just said <coughs> if you are nothing is happening when i press something it should jump so now here you are i say that if jump equals equals true okay if jump is true what i do is that player pb dot top okay minus equals force okay and jump should be false so what i'm saying is that 
the player top when it's jump it should jump with minus equals and then when it falls you know what happens let's see if you see it's moving can you see we click it it's it's perfect can you see it's going jump 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 but i'm not feeling the effect as if it's jumping sorry that's just one once more if uh, sorry this should be minus equals one that's why i'm thinking not jump this is force so what i'm saying is that as the time is going on it should minus one 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 so that's why it's worked can you see but if you see it's gone after a long time it's falling okay so here we'll try i'll try to decrease the to 20 it's working but we didn't set any barriers so if you see so now that was small mistake which i did here it should be minus one. that's fine now what we'll do is that we need to say that when it's jumping and when it's coming back when it hits this one it should stop this is the maximum maximum okay so what we need to do come back here now what i'll do is i'll put if player pb dot top plus player pb dot height should be greater than or equal to okay you know game area dot height okay i'll explain you guys no worries what i'm saying is that the top is this one and the bottom is this one you can try if you want player bottom you can remove everything and put player bottom uh 99 percent it won't work because you know it works with left it doesn't work with right it works with top it doesn't work with bottom in a lot of options try it out no so right now that's what i'm saying that the top plus height okay the top is this one and the height if you add it i'm saying that if this is at this point can you see game area height the game area it is if you see is 522 so if player top if you come here player top is from here to here the top plus the height is greater than equal to game area then player top okay should be always equal to game area dot height minus okay minus player dot player pb dot height if you use common sense i'm just using this condition but i'm re replacing it well the top should be the total height minus the player value so it will be always at this point only okay now next thing here at that point the jump should be false or else if you don't put false it will go on going down and then else we need else no? so that's why play it up okay plus equals five so it should get up
okay now here now i can start play with these values i can put 50 <laughs> but if you see it goes on so for me i think maybe 30 yeah that's fine now you can always play with the timer the timer i'll put 10 and check it out it's smooth see if you it's jumping once only how many times you click it won't jump because we have written the code in such a way that it should not jump okay now the next stage is that <coughs> we'll try to create some barriers so i'll go to toolbox and i'll create a picture box and this time i'll just put it like this so what i'm saying is that this is a picture box i'll change it to the color to maybe red and this one i can put uh well what i want is that i want this character to come here when it's here it should not go beyond this point it should stop here okay or else it should jump 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 means if you want you can create something like this Can you see so you can character can come here jump mm, jump 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 and then open go to the door is it like this that's what you could do is so right now i'll remove it remove it and remove it i'll explain what you could do it but you got some idea this is wall everything is done right something happened to my system i just i'll check okay guys sorry we are back now we know we need to main thing is first thing is we need to stop it intersect going through this uh, barriers so how to do it it's straightforward if you come here and if you go to the timer this is where every the whole action takes place so come back here and you can type anywhere but i'll just type it into it because it's better to talk we say that we are restricting here in movements no we are not restricting on the the jump so here i'll put it as if in brackets i'll put player pb okay dot right the player of the right okay player of the right if it's greater than and what is the name of this thing it's called wall so i can put if it's greater than wall okay wall left if it's greater than that okay is it clear and i put and because every situation is true or not not or everything is true and i'll put mm, player dot left okay is less than here i put one if this is this side this is left and this is right of the wall 
I can put player left. Maybe I'll put right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it always. And we'll say right is true. So if I run it, oh sorry, 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 it should be false. Stop it. Okay. I know it, it's false, but somehow. Can you see? So right now, it's stopping. So, can I see? That's stopping, it's not going. Because what it is thinking is that when it reaches here, it should stop. Whether it's here or here. Because it's thinking, assuming this is the whole big massive size. So here we need to put one more thing. And and player TB use best common sense. If it's here, that's player bottom. Now bottom. Oh, uh, not border. Bottom. Bottom is greater than wall type wall top okay let's see it's always let me see that's fine it's working but it's we are not saying that here we just said that if it stop it should stop is it clear we never said that it should stay on the pattern is it clear we just said that it should stay there now we need to do the same thing here if i run it okay if i start running it sorry i need to it came out now this time if i go left so there's no control so we need to say Come back here. I'll copy here this time. This should be left. Should be false. But here, when it's here, there should be player left. So player left and wall right. Okay. Is it clear? I don't know why I wrote this one also. Because generally, you do, do you need it? I don't know. I'll remove this one, okay, for the time being. And bottom. Let's see. Oh, it's not moving. Can I see? So this is moving. But left is not moving. Got it. So I think that is the reason we need to put this option also. I'll just put in. Now this one here is it. And this one I'll put right and left. And run it. So going forward, it's going. Can I see? But it's not stopping. So here, why it's not stopping? Because we are using left and right and all the things. But it's working. So if you remember, I told you that there are certain times which we cannot use left and right and all the things. So if you see right 
here it should be greater than I change that's one mistake I did oh sorry not here it should be greater than okay now let's see so always so it's it's let me see it's not moving so left is not moving but when I'm jumping it's moving right is moving so what's happening let's try to check it out okay Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. left wall right and right this one if play right is greater than left wall left and play left uh -huh. I don't know. Let's just give me a few seconds and pause it. See, that's why sometimes <laughs> copy and paste, we do a lot of mistakes. Can you see? Here, this is greater. This time it should be less, less, less. Oh, God. Save me. <laughs> so, if you check here, so this is moving, this is moving. Okay. So your character is moving and it's walking. Right? Now finally, we need to see that this stays on this one rather than going inside like this. So we need to check an intersection. So check intersection, check intersection. So I will give you a few seconds to think. I'll pause it for you guys. Okay, guys, come on. Have you thought it? If you see here, first, before typing the code, you need to analyze it. You cannot just go and start coding it. So here, so when it jumps, what I will say is that if the bottom of the player is at this height of the wall then it should have the same size so if you see here that is what I've written can you see here I'm saying that if player right I put everything here okay can you see the player right is wall left it has to be the wall left now we have to put every condition here and the player left is wall right if it's right okay and also play a bottom the player's bottom I put here the wall top it should be equal it should be the wall top okay and what also does it the player top should be greater than top now it should be always the player top should always be greater than top when it's on this one. If all these conditions are there, then the player top should be the game area. If you see the panel area, minus the wall height, minus the player height. You may be thinking that, oh, Ram, I could put bottom. Try to put bottom. I won't stop you. But when I'm here on top of it, what I'm saying is, is four second, force one second. I'm making it zero and jump as false so that you can jump one second. So let's see. Move, jump. Can you see? Jump. I can move, jump. Okay. Got it. Now, if you think that, oh, we already wrote all these things here. Can you see the left thing and all things? Let's change, remove this one. Okay. We'll put only player bottom and all the things. Let's see. It should work, I think. 
Can you see? Can you see the reason why we did that one? Because here it's checking only the bottom, these conditions. So, but whereas you have to check, okay, the right of this should be minimum this one. Can you see? Should be greater than wall left. Then only it can jump or else other time it can jump like this. But when it's here, if it jumps, then stay here. That's the reason. Once again, I told you, if you have any doubts, just remove this one and play it. See, can you see? It's thinking that it's a height. If you remember previously, when we did the left and right and height also in the previous uh, in this code, you would understand. Okay, can you see? So it has to meet all these conditions. The player right should be minimum left and it should the left means based on this area only. Clear? So if I run it, then only you can. Right? And if you want, you can start playing with this one. Put 20. Right? Now, next stage for you guys challenge is that you can duplicate this one. Okay? Think how you will do it. You can put wall one, wall two, barrier one, barrier two, and then you can create the same style like this. Okay, you can go on creating for this one and this one. Okay, you can do that one or else you can create the tags. Okay, you can create the tags and create it. But it's your choice. That is your workshop. And thank you.